She will never thought about other people. She didn't think about herself. Right at the end, she was talking to me as best she could, concerned that the kids would be OK and that I would be OK. Not about her, but about anybody else. That was a concern, and that was a great strength. Christmas. A difficult time of year when a loved one has gone. Elaine Dust has left behind a legacy which her husband is proud of. So she, um, through the Christie Hospital, did everything that she could in terms of making anybody that would listen to her aware of what she believed were dangers of passive smoking. The mother of two had never been a smoker. Elaine was first diagnosed with lung cancer in 2005 and she was told she only had a few months left to live. Almost a year after her first diagnosis, the Christie Hospital were able to offer her an oral chemotherapy drug which we're told statistically only affects one in seven people. She absolutely miraculously was one of those seven, one out of seven, and she lasted a whole year on that drug. The way that she tried to deal with it, and very successfully for six months, a year nearly, especially when the new drug came along, when she looked normal, was she avoided telling anybody, and she went for months and months and months, where she was on the outside living a normal life. And how are you going to be remembering Elaine over this festive period of the year? I won't need to have to do anything other than just every day of my life should be in my head somewhere. I won't need to try. Uh, she'll be remembered for this house. She made it. Everything that's around here is her. This has been Gordon Newell for Channel M News.